Monday, everyone. Shea Pepler here with the weekend roundup of the latest trending stories and the Frozen soundtrack, yeah, as in the Disney movie, has been taking YouTube by storm. And it all started with these two who titled their YouTube rendition, quote, good looking parents singing Frozen. Have a listen. But with you, but with you I, I see your face and, and it's, it's nothing, nothing like I've ever known. Yes, that was bound to go viral from the beginning. And now we have two Navy baseball players singing along. I give you the midshipmen's version of Love is an Open Door, or as the internet is calling it, Frozen. was even spot on, but by far the worst of the Frozen fan bunch had to be Cardinals pitchers Adam Wainwright and Trevor Rosenthal, who did this karaoke style at a charity event. And in case you missed it, here it is. Yeah, don't quit your day job, guys. And speaking of things you may have missed, remember the diehard Wildcats fan who got this 2014 National Championship tattoo back in early March? Well, the tattoo parlors in Lexington must be bumping because now there's a new Wildcat fan with an equally ridiculous tat. Check it out. That's a UK tat complete with an image of Kentucky forward Willie Cauley Stein. What if he dyes his hair blonde again, dude? I mean, seriously. Now, someone's face I'm shocked that has not been made into a tattoo is this guy, Johnny Manziel, the former A&M quarterback, Instagram. this video over the weekend of him on a jet ski and then receiving a ball that's thrown to him. I mean, something cool always happens to this guy. Johnny Receiver, apparently, a new nickname? I don't know. Finally, we leave you with something that was not so awesome for Georgia Tech fans, and that is head coach Paul Johnson trying to rally the troops for the Yellow Jackets spring game over the weekend with this tweet. Wanted to invite everyone to spring game Friday night at 7 p.m. Don't let weather forecasts keep you away. In this twit pick then taken by sports reporter Sam Crenshaw, Coach Johnson was clearly unsuccessful at rallying the troops considering only about 117 people showed up for the spring game. Yeah, 6 million people live in Atlanta. Only 117 showed up for the spring game. Ouch. That's it for today's Trend Tracker. I'm Shay Pepler and I will see you all tomorrow.